I was diagnosed with having breast cancer. They also informed me that they will obviously be removing breast tissue as part of the mastectomy and that if I was willing to consent to them preserving some of the tissue that they didn't need for my tests, that they could use that for research. And I just thought that's completely logical and I consented immediately to that. I was actually shocked initially that there wasn't already a tissue bank. The Breast Cancer Campaign Tissue Bank is a world first in that it brings together scientists and clinicians in four core centres to provide human tissues that other scientists out with those centres can then make use of. This has been very difficult to achieve in the past. That's why this is a first. It's brought together the National Health Service with universities, with campaign. And we believe this is really going to change the way that science gets into the clinic. Ready access to tissue samples was a major obstacle for most researchers. And Breast Cancer Campaign really listened to that and then set about the process of setting up this initiative. I see the women at their pre-op clinic. For diagnosis purposes, you just need a small amount of the tissue. And what I say to them is, would they mind if we took the tissue that would be destroyed and put it into our tissue bank? The surgeon will decide when I can take the tissue and then the theatre staff will call me. I will go to theatre. We will sign over the tissue to me. I will then text Professor Jones to say that I have the tissue and I'm taking it to the pathology lab and we will meet there. We orientate the specimen with different coloured inks and then we will measure and slice the specimen in order to identify the abnormality. So this is the tumour and you can see that clearly because of its pale colour against the background yellow colour of the fatty breast. One of the priorities is to freeze down tissue. This is very valuable for researchers and is just not available routinely. They then get placed into small tubes which will be brought over to the tissue bank for longer term storage. The remainder of the specimen will then be placed into the fixative, that's formalin, which is what normally happens with the specimen straight after it comes out of surgery. Time and access are really the two big advantages um, with the Breast Cancer Campaign Tissue Bank, um, which will make research a lot faster and easier for everybody. So one of the things that makes it a big advantage is that there are res subtypes of breast cancer. So we know now breast cancer is at least five different subtypes. So if you were to say 10% of cases have this rare subtype and with the Breast Cancer Campaign Tissue Bank we'll be able to develop a new therapy, you're talking about maybe 2,000 lives saved per year. We hope that in the next decade the Breast Cancer Campaign Tissue Bank will have the sort of impact that breast screening, the use of drugs like tamoxifen and chemotherapy and good quality surgery and radiotherapy has had in reducing the mortality from breast cancer. It is vital to research and vital to a cure. Well we know that the tissue bank is going to cost £10 million and because of the tremendous support of two really fantastic sponsors early on in the project we've managed to secure half of the funding that we need. For me the ultimate goal is to be able to say at some point nobody is dying from breast cancer. Yeah my fears are I have six nieces and a great niece and my fear is for them. I have three other sisters so lots of women in the family and taking part in any research I can I, I'll put my hand up and say I'll do it. I think it's really exciting but it's also really quite humbling that my, by my consenting to my tissue being taken not disposed of but taken and used can enable future treatments to be developed and I'm very happy to take part in that in any way I can. Thank you.